Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker. Welcome to video number three of the Chevrons and Diamonds Throw. At this point, you should have rows 1 through 20 completed. We are continuing to follow the charts, and I wanted to share with you what I have so far. Okay, this is our, my diamond, I'm sorry, my um, Chevron A section. And we have, have come to the halfway point of the diamond um, creating our center diamond here. Okay, so this is what I have for the A and the B section. I'm just going to continue on like I did in the second video and demonstrating for you and showing you how to read the A section and then the B section and then you will just alternate the A and the B, A, B, A section all the way across the row. I think that's going to save you time and, um, and that way these videos um, don't become insomniac videos showing you every single stitch because if you've gotten this far at this point then you you should be really close to even being able to carry this pattern um, on without me but I'm going to go ahead and for those who, who need the extra help I am going to cheerfully and happily show you the next um, the next 10 rows okay so let's go ahead and let's look at the the chart for row 21 Okay, as we take a look at this at row 21, we start with a single crochet, front post, single crochet, three front post, two singles, two front post, two singles, two front post, two singles, three front post, a single front post, and a single crochet. Well, let's go ahead and work the row. Okay, now starting row 21, chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. Now reading from the chart, single crochet and then a front post, double crochet. Make sure we skip that stitch. Single crochet. Now we have three front post doubles together. So we have this here and now we're going to reach over and grab these two. That's two and three. Skip three stitches back here, one, two, three. And in the next stitch, we're gonna do one single crochet, and then we do another single crochet beside it. Now we are going to work two front post doubles, and we're gonna reach over and grab these stitches here as we do that. Skip two single crochets behind there, two single crochets, and then two front post using the other two stitches that we use to start that new chevron about two rows down. Skipping two stitches and now we single crochet in two stitches. Now we're going to do three front post double crochets. One, two, and reaching over to this one way over here. I know it may seem a little unnatural, but that's what we're gonna do. One, two, three stitches skipped behind. Single crochet, a front post double, and then a single crochet. Make sure we skip that one, single crochet. So let's take a stop or a pause and take a look at what we should have done for that A section. Okay, so that's the A section of row 21. Now for the B section, we are simply going to work single crochets in the next 35 stitches. So um, instead of showing you all 35 stitches, just trust me, I'm going to do 35 stitches there. And so go ahead and alternate that A, this is the A section with the, air, um, the chevron, and the B section all the way across the row, ending with a single crochet in that last stitch. All right, now we're ready for row number 22. And for the chevron A pattern, we have all X's across that section, so we're going to chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and the next 22 stitches are going to be all single crochets. So go ahead and single crochet 22 single crochets across the A section. All right, for the B section of row 22, we're going to start with a single crochet, and then a treble, seven single crochets and then these 17 stitches are going to start and end with a treble and we're going to alternate treble single treble single across the next 17 stitches 
and then seven single crochets, a treble, and a single crochet. Let's go ahead and work that. So we begin with a single crochet, and then a treble crochet. And now we work seven single crochets, All right, and now we're going to work the next 17 stitches starting with a treble and then a single. We're going to alternate treble, single, treble, single across 17 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and work those 17 stitches. Okay, let's go ahead and verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and they are alternating. So the next thing we do is work seven single crochets. So that's seven. And then after that, we work one treble crochet followed by a single crochet. And let's go ahead and verify it, looking at the front side, since we are working this with the back side facing us. Okay, we see how the dime is going to be starting to come inward as it goes up. Okay, that looks good. So, now you have your assignment for row 22. It's going to be 22 single crochets across the A section. Then repeat what I just showed you with the B, the diamond section. Go ahead and work that across, and then don't forget to work a single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Okay, now we're ready to start row 23. Let's take a look at this. It's going to be single crochet, front post double crochet, single, front post double, three singles, two front post doubles. Now remember, we're going to be hooking these in to these stitches that are a little bit to the left. Okay, and then three, I'm sorry, four single crochets and then two more of those front post doubles, three single crochets, front post, single, front post, single. Let's go ahead and work those stitches. Let's go ahead and start with our chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. Now we start working from the chart, single crochet, front post double, skip that stitch back here, single crochet, front post double, skip that stitch, single crochet in the next three stitches. Notice that this chevron down here, the second chevron is now completed. We're not going to be um, working that one again. Instead we're going to be working some new ones. So let's go ahead and do these two. Okay, skip two stitches behind and we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and now we do two more front post double crochets. Whoops, I just did a, started to do a treble. Let's not mislead you there. Unless, of course, you're choosing to do trebles, but um, I'm sticking with the double crochets. Um, skip these two rows. I'm, I'm sorry, two stitches. Get my terms right and single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Front post double. Skip this stitch. Single crochet in the next. And a front post double. Skip this stitch. And a single crochet. Okay, so this is the A section of row number 23. Okay, so for the B section, which is the diamond, you're simply going to single crochet 35 stitches across. Okay, so go ahead and work those 35 stitches. And I want you to go ahead and complete this row. And don't forget, again, the single crochet in the last stitch. So go ahead and work this all the way across. Okay, to start row number 24, we are going to chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and we are just going to work 22 single crochets all the way across that A section. So go ahead and work those 
22 single crochets. Now let's take a look at the B section for row 24. We're going to start with a treble, then a single, then a treble, 7 single crochets, and over the next 15 stitches we're going to alternate between treble, single, treble, single, start and ending with a treble, the center diamond, 7 single crochets, and then treble, single, treble. Let's go ahead and work that. So with row 24, the B section, we're going to start with a treble. Well, let's get all the threads pulled through there. There you go, treble, and then a single, and then a treble. And then we're going to work seven single crochets next. Okay, after we do that, the next 15 stitches are going to be alternating a treble and then a single. Treble and single. Go ahead and do that over the next 15 stitches. After alternating the treble and the single over 15 stitches, it's time to work seven more single crochets. That's five, six, seven, and we're followed by a treble, single, and then a treble. After that, you would work 22 single crochets. I'm just going to put a couple in here because I wanted to give another visual verification of what we just worked. Okay, so that, that diamond is coming out nicely here, and you see how these are on the side and they are symmetrical. Okay, so go ahead and finish um, that across row 24 and don't forget the last single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, to start row 25 we're going to start with a single crochet, then a front post double, single, front post, two singles, two front post, six single crochets, two front post doubles, two singles, front post double, single, front post double, single. Okay, let's go ahead and work uh, the chevron pattern A of row 25. So let's go ahead and start with, with a chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. Then we're going to work a single crochet and then a front post double. Skipping that last stitch behind it, single crochet and then another front post double. Okay, now we're going to work two, skip this stitch here, work two single crochets, one, two. Now we're going to work two front post doubles, grabbing these two one at a time over here, and two, double, skip these two here, and then we're going to work six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two front post doubles. One, two. Skip these two, and then we're going to work two single crochets, front post double, Skip that stitch behind there, single crochet, another front post double, skip that stitch, and a single crochet. Let's just pause and take a look at what we've just done. This is what we should have so far. And for the B section, you are going to work 35 single crochets across that diamond area. Okay, so if go ahead and Repeat that all the way across, ending with a single crochet in the last stitch, and then we'll start the row after that. Okay, now we're ready to start row 26. Uh, we're going to chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and section A, the um, chevron pattern is just 22 single crochets across. So go ahead and work 22 single crochets. All right, for row 26 of the B section, it's going to be single crochet treble, single, treble, 
seven single crochets and then across one two three four five six seven thirteen across thirteen stitches here we're going to alternate treble single treble single and we're going to end with the treble in that alternating 13 stitches and then seven single crochets and then treble single treble single let's go ahead and work that okay, again row 26 single treble this is the B section single and treble now we're going to work seven single crochets Six, and that is seven and now we begin the 13 stitches alternating a treble single treble and single I'm going to continue this across and then I'll show you when I'm done so after alternating the treble single across 13 stitches we go back to seven single crochets one in each of the next seven stitches and then we alternate treble single treble and single and that is the B section and let's go ahead and take a look from the front side just to make sure that we worked that correctly okay that looks good so go ahead and alternate the 22 single crochets for the B I'm sorry for the A section and then this what I just showed you for the B section all the way across row 26 ending with a single crochet in that last stitch okay let's take a look at row 27 we have single crochet, front post double, single crochet, front post double, and then a single crochet, two front post doubles, two single crochet, four front post doubles, two single, two front post, single, front post, single, front post, single. Okay, let's go ahead and work that. So to begin row 27, chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and then we work our single crochet, front post, skip that stitch back there, I know you're probably getting tired of hearing me say that, but it's just a matter of time before somebody makes that mistake. Okay, front post, skip that stitch, one single crochet, and now we're going to work two front post doubles, kind of reach over and grab those stitches there, skip these two stitches two single crochets. Now it's time to start a new chevron. So we're going to do four front posts. And remember what I said before, just go ahead. Since there's nothing directly below here, I'm going to take this stitch right here a little bit to the left or to the right if you're watching the um, left-handed version. So we need four front post double crochets. Okay, and let's skip four stitches back here. One, two, three, four. And then single crochet in two stitches. Front post doubles. One, two. Skip two stitches back here. And one single crochet. One front post double skipping that stitch, single crochet, and a front post double, skip that stitch, and a single crochet. Let's stop and take a look. This is what you should have after completing the A section of row number 27. Okay, for the B section of row 27, we are just going to single crochet in each of the next 35 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and start working 
those 35 single crochet. So you can go ahead and work that A section like I just showed you and the 35 single crochets for the B section. Alternate that across the row, single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, let's start row 28. We're going to chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. And for the A section, we are simply going to single crochet in the next 22 stitches. Now let's take a look at what we need to do for the B or the diamond section. Okay, we're going to treble, single, treble, single, treble, single crochet in seven stitches. And then we're going to alternate between the treble and the single over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stitches, followed by seven single crochets, and then the treble, single, treble, single, treble again. Okay, so let's go ahead and work this across. This is row number 28. Okay, so we start this section with a treble and a single and another treble and a single and another treble crochet. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but from the flip side, I could feel with my fingers that I was in the right place, that these are alternating. But if there's ever a doubt, you can always go ahead and turn and look at the other side to get some visual confirmation um, that what you're doing is correct. All right, now we need to do seven single crochets. Six and seven. And now we alternate again between the treble and the single over the next 11 stitches. I'm going to go ahead and work these. These are over alternating over the next 11 stitches and then I'll come back to you. After that alternating between the treble and the single, then it's time to do seven single crochets. And then followed by the treble single alteration over the next five stitches. So that's a treble, single, treble, single, treble. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a couple single crochets in here just, just to kind of anchor that last treble because I know that the next thing I do is 22 more of those. But let's just go ahead and flip this around. Make sure that we're on the right track. Yes, we are getting closer to finishing that first diamond of ours. How exciting that's going to be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send you off to do the rest of this row. And don't forget, single crochet in the last stitch, and that's not on the graph. So go ahead and finish row 28. Now we're ready to start row 29. The chevron A pattern starts off with single crochet, front post double, single crochet, three front post double, two single crochet, two front post, two singles, two front post, two singles, three front post, double crochet, single front post, single crochet. All right, let's go ahead and do it. And for the 29th time, we chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. Now starting with our grid, single crochet, then we work a front post double, Remember, I'm working these a little on the loose side. Skip that stitch there. Single crochet. And now we're going to do three front post double crochets. One. And we're going to reach way over here for these next two. Two. Three. I'm going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. And we're going to work two single crochets, one, two. Now it's time for two front post doubles. We're going to reach over and grab these as we do so. Skip the next two stitches and we're going to single crochet the next two stitches. Now we're going to front post double and the next two Remember skipping these two behind and single crochet in the next two, front post.
post double and the next three. We're going to do this one, this one, and then this one way over here. That's one, two, and then three. And remember, one, two, three, skip stitches behind those. Single crochet, front post, double crochet, and then a single crochet. Skip this one here, single crochet. Now for the B section, we're just going to work um, single crochets across the next 35 stitches. And that should set you up for row 29. Don't forget that last stitch at the end of the row that's off grid. And I'll see you at the beginning of row number 30. Okay, to start row number 30, we chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. And for the A section, we just single crochet across 22 stitches. Okay, let's take a look at the B section. It'll be a single crochet, a treble, single, treble, single, treble. Okay, seven single crochets. And then over the next nine stitches, we alternate the treble and the single back and forth, ending with and starting with a treble. And then seven single crochets. And then treble, single, treble, single, treble, single. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we start the B section of row 30 with a single crochet and then a treble. Do that over the over six stitches. So that's three repeats, I guess, of the single and the treble. Okay, let me check to make sure I did that right. One, two, three, four, see, one, two, three, four, five. Let me see, I should have started counting with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, so that's correct. Now seven, single crochets. And that's five, six, seven. Now after we do that we're going to alternate the treble and the single over the next nine stitches. I'll go ahead and finish this up. So after alternating that treble, single, treble, single over nine stitches, then we're going to single crochet in the next seven. And this is five, six, seven. Uh, now I need to get a knot out of my yarn. Okay, back again. I'm nearing the end of my first scan, so I'm starting to I uh, have a little bit of yarn trouble, but it's all, all good. So now we are going to alternate between the treble and single over six stitches. That's three, four, five, and six. And let's go ahead and, like I always like to do, let's take a look to make sure that we are on the right track here. Okay, that looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and finish out row 30, alternating between the A and the B section. Don't forget that last stitch in the last stitch. All right, now we're going to begin row 31. But before we do that, we need to look at our pattern a little bit, and I need to give you some more information. We just finished row 30, which is the last row in this chevron pattern A chart. Now, the chart for the diamond pattern B, let's take a look at this, this goes up to row 40. So we just finished to this point. So I'm like, gee whiz, what are we going to do now, right? Well, I think I have something that's going to help you um, so that you're not going to have to figure this out row by row as you go. Okay, um, I have put together a chart. It's a very simple chart. Um, it's one that is available on my website. If you go to bonniebaycrochet.com and under the different selections, select blog. Or if you just want to look it up on Google, if you look up chevrons and diamonds, throw Bonnie Bay Crochet and it should be one of the options that comes up. So what I've done here is I've simply listed the rows from here to the finish. This is actually a five page document when I printed it out. Um, it goes from row 31 
all the way to row 198, which is one reason why I'm not going to do each of these rows stepping you through it because it will probably be the longest YouTube video series in history if I did. But I think by now you should understand what you're doing, how to read the chart, because we've, we've gone back and forth reading them at least uh, 30 times now. So um, for row 31, I'm going to start you through this with, with the yarn in just a minute. But um, we're going to, for this row, we're going to work row 7 of pattern A, and then we'll work row 31 of the diamond pattern B. And after I do that, I'm going to check it off. And then you, know, you can actually just draw through it if, if you'd like to, because we're never going to have to look at this again, at least for this throw. So um, I'll go ahead and start you um, on row 31. But do be sure that you go to my website and download this um, and print it out. I, I highly recommend you do that um, so that you know where you are and you'll be able to just pull up the other two graphs and just uh, go forward with the, the throw. So to begin row 31, the A section is simply going to be single crochet, front post, single crochet, front post, three single crochet, two front post, four single crochet, two front post, three single crochet, front post, single, front post, single. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So now starting row 31, we chain one, single crochet in that first stitch. Remember we're looking at row 7 of the chart A. Single crochet, front post, treble. Skip that stitch back there. Single crochet and we're going to front post double in the next one. And apparently we're starting a new chevron so we're going to single crochet, we skip this one, but then single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then two front post double crochets, and then four single crochets. They skip two, and then four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then front post double, front post double, and skip these two, and then single crochet in the next three. And now we do our front post, Let's skip that one, single crochet, front post double, skip that one, and then a single crochet. Okay, and you know what to do for the B section. Um, according to the chart, we are working on row 31, and that's simply to work 35 single crochets all the way across that B section. So go ahead and finish row 31, and don't forget that single crochet in that last stitch of the row. Okay, now we're ready to move on to row number 32. For row 32, we're going to work chevron row 8 or the A row 8, and row 32 of the B row. Now with a row 8, all the even numbers on this row are going to be single crochet all the way across. Actually what we can even do is if you want to take your pen and just circle the even rows, for example for the A rows, and for the B rows, what you can do is circle the odd rows, okay? And then put a little note to yourself that the circled rows equal single crochet across. Okay, so I just put a little note. If, I, if you want to do that, that might be an easier way for you to know what you need to do. So if you circle it, that means that you're just going to have to just work single crochets for those sections. For the A sections, that's going to be 22 stitches. And for the B section, that's going to be 35 stitches. Okay? So those are some of my little cheat notes that I'm going to, you know, keep as I go here. So that way I don't have to, you know, look at this for every single thing I do. So let's go ahead. We're working on row 32 now. Going to be 22 single crochets for the A section. And then we'll look at row 32 when we get there. So let's go ahead and start those 22 stitches. 
So 32, row 32 begins with a chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 22 stitches. For B section of row 32, we're going to alternate treble, single, treble, single over seven stitches, and then seven single crochets, and then alternate treble, single, treble, single over the next seven stitches, and then seven single crochets, and then treble, single, treble, single over the next seven stitches. So seven looks like the magic number for row number 32. Let's go ahead and start that. Okay, we start with a treble, single, that's three, four, treble, six, and then seven. Okay, we should have seven stitches alternating here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Now we're ready for seven single crochets. A lot of single crochets in this project. Now we're going to alternate again. Treble, single over seven stitches. And now we do seven single crochets again. And we alternate, starting with that treble, single, treble, single for over the next seven stitches. Okay, so let me go ahead, I'm going to single crochet in a couple of stitches. This is part of the 22 stitches that's part of the A pattern, but I just want to do that to anchor it. And let's see if this looks good on the other side. I believe it does. And getting a better view of that diamond there. Okay, so go ahead and finish that all the way across. And then don't forget that last single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, now for row 33. We're going to work row nine of the chevron A pattern, and we're going to work row 33 of the diamond or the B pattern. Let's take a look at row nine of the chevron pattern A. Single crochet, front post, single crochet, front post, these are front post doubles. Single, two single crochets, two front post doubles, six single crochets through the center portion, two front post, two single front post, single, front post, single. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we start with the chain one, single crochet in the first stitch. Now reading from the chart, single crochet, front post, double, skip that stitch, single crochet, and another front post, double, skip that stitch behind there, two single crochets, and now two front post doubles. Now we're going to single crochet, we're going to skip these two behind, and then six, or a single crochet in the next six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two front post double crochets. And then skip those two behind there, two single crochets, front post double, and let's see, skip that stitch behind, single crochet, and a front post double, skip that stitch, and a single crochet. Okay, so that was repeating row nine. This is for row number 33. And for row 33 on the B section, we simply single crochet in the next 35 stitches. So go ahead and finish row 33 
ending with the single crochet in that last stitch. All right, now we're ready to start row number 34. And for row number 34, we're going to do row 10 of the Chevron A pattern, which is, that number is circle, which means it's just gonna be single crochets in those 22 stitches. And then we're gonna work on row 34 of the Diamond B, okay? Uh, and in case I you haven't been able to download a copy of this yet, if you wanna just go to the description of this video, if you look down there, this link is also there, so you can just click it and go ahead and download a copy. I believe it's gonna serve you as we go through uh, from this point on uh, until row 198. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at crocheting row 34. We're gonna start with a chain one, and then single crochet in that first stitch, and then we're going to do our 22 single crochets across the A section. Okay, for the B section, across the next eight stitches, we're gonna start with the single crochet and alternate single crochet, treble crochet over eight stitches. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next seven stitches. And then over the next five stitches, we're gonna alternate treble, single, treble, single, treble, and then seven single crochets. And then the last eight stitches are gonna alternate between a treble and a single. Okay, so the B section starts with a single crochet and then a treble crochet. We're going to do that over eight stitches. After those alternating treble, single, treble, single, treble, single, treble, single, over eight stitches, we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches. And after we do those seven stitches, we're going to work a treble, single, treble, single, and then a treble. It's just alternating, starting and ending with a treble over five stitches. Then back to seven of those single crochets. And then we are going to work the treble single alternating over the next eight stitches. And this is number eight. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go ahead and turn it around and see if it's looking good for us. Because of course, if it's not, we're gonna have to make an alteration. Okay, so that looks like it's just in line, doing well. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out row 34. Starting row 35, we're gonna work chevron row 11 and the diamond row 35. Let's go ahead, now see 35 is circled in the B section, so we know that that's just gonna be 35 single crochets, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what chevron A row number 11 looks like. Okay, so for row number 11, it's gonna be single crochet, front post, double, single, front post, single, two front posts, two single, four front posts, so we're gonna be starting a new chevron here in row number 11. Two singles, two front posts, single, front post, single, front post, single. Let's go ahead and do it. So we'll start with that chain and a single crochet in the first stitch. Now reading from the graph, single crochet, front post, double, and I'm gonna skip a stitch back here, and then a single crochet, and another front post double, and a single, I'm gonna skip this stitch back here, single crochet. Now we're going to work two front post double crochets, and then skip these two stitches, one, two, and then two single crochets, and now we're gonna do four front post double crochets. One, two, three, four, remember skip, 
one, two, three, four back here. One, two, three, four. And two single crochets come next. One, two, two front post double. One, two, and then skip these two, and then a single, and a front post double. Skip that stitch, a single, front post double, skip that stitch, and a single crochet. All right, so that is the A, the A section. This is row number uh, 35, I believe. And then for this part, for the B section, we're just going to single crochet in each of the next 35 stitches. So go ahead and work that all the way across, single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, it's time to look at row 36. For row 36, chevron row A, pattern number 12. And we have that circle, so we're just going to do single crochets for those 22 stitches. And then we're going to look at row, diamond row 36. So let's go ahead and start. So we begin row number 36, single crochet in that first stitch, and then single crochet in the next 22 stitches. Okay, to begin the B pattern for row 36, uh, for the diamond, we're going to alternate treble, single, treble, single over nine stitches, and then single crochet in the next seven, and then treble, single, treble, and then single crochet in the next seven, and then alternate the treble, single, treble, single over the next nine stitches, st starting and ending with a treble crochet. So we begin that B section by alternating a treble in single over nine stitches stitches. After alternating those nine stitches, treble, single, treble, single, we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches. And for the center, we're going to work a treble, a single, and then a treble. And then seven more single crochets followed by the nine stitches again alternating starting with a treble and then a single so go ahead and work those nine alternating stitches so after finishing that let's go ahead and just take a look to confirm that it's the pattern that we're looking for and that looks good Okay, so we just have a couple more rows and then we'll have this diamond section up here completed. So go ahead and finish out row 36. Now to start row 37, we're going to do chevron row 13 and the diamond row 37. So let's go ahead and we see 37 to circle, so that means that's just going to be 35 single crochets for that section. So let's take a look at chevron row 13. For chevron row 13, we have a single crochet, front post, single crochet, three front post, two singles, two front post, two singles, two front post, two singles, three front post, single, front post, single. Let's go ahead and work that. So we start row 37, with the chain one, single crochet in that first stitch, and then following the chart, single crochet, front post, double and skipping that stitch back there single crochet in the next and then another actually three front post doubles that's one and reach way over here for these other two that's two and three and we're going to skip three stitches back here one two three and then single crochet in the next two stitches and then two front post double. We're going to grab these two front posts from two rows ago. That's one. Oops, let's try that one again. Two. Skip these two. And we're going to do two single crochets. And then two more front post double crochets. Skip these two stitches here one, two, and then single crochet in the next two, and then three front post double crochets, one, 
two and three right over here let's get three stitches one two three and then we have a single crochet front post double and skip that stitch there and then a single crochet and so now for the B section you're just going to single crochet across the next 35 stitches so go ahead and finish out row 37 all right let's take a look at row number 38 we're going to work chevron row 14 which is circled so that's just 22 single crochets and then we'll look at row B or diamond row B number 38 so beginning row 38 we chain one single crochet in that first stitch and single crochet in the next 22 stitches for the A section this is row 38 for the B section of row 38 we're going to alternate across 10 stitches starting with a single then a treble single treble across 10 stitches and then seven single crochets one treble crochet and that should be dead center and then seven single crochets and then the last 10 alternating treble single okay let's go ahead and work that so we start the B section of row 38 by working a single and a treble I'm going to do that over 10 stitches after alternating the treble single over 10 stitches then we work our seven single crochets So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we work one treble crochet, and then we work seven more single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we're going to alternate between a treble and a single over the next 10 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up so after finishing up those alternating 10 stitches let's go ahead and take a look at the front okay we are getting close okay so that kind of finishes off our little diamond here so let's just take a quick look at that okay so let's go ahead and continue working this go ahead and finish this all the way across uh, for row 38 and a single crochet in that last stitch all right now it's time to start row 39 and we're going to go back to row 7 for this row on the chevron a pattern and then we will do th row 39 in the diamond pattern let's take a look at uh, chevron a row 7 since row 39 is simply going to be 35 single crochets across that section so let's take a look at the A section okay back to row 7 of the chevron section single crochet front post double single front post three singles two front posts four single crochets two front posts three singles front post single front post single let's go ahead and start that okay. starting and row number 39 which is going to be a repeat of diamond I'm sorry chevron pattern a section single crochet in that first stitch now reading from the chart single crochet front post double and skip that stitch behind that post stitch single crochet and then another front post double now we're going to skip that stitch behind that post stitch again and we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then two front post double crochets make sure you reach all the way across there it is a bit of a stretch and skip one two stitches back there and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches that's one two three four and now two front post doubles one two I'm going to skip these two stitches back here one two and then single crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then a front post double skip that stitch a single and a front post double again 
skip that stitch and a single crochet and that my friends is the a section once again um, this is row 39 and for the b section of row 39 you simply single crochet in the next 35 stitches so go ahead and work that all the way across row 39 all right let's take a look at row number 40 and just for the record, this is the last uh, last time I'm going to actually step you through with the crocheting uh, because after this I'm going to have you take the training wheels off the bike, so to speak, and you're going to be free of me and free to follow this chart. Um, so for row number 40, we are going to work chevron A, row number 8, which is going to be all the single crochets. And then we're going to work the last row of the diamond B chart, row number 40. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start this last row of the diamond chart we're going to single crochet first stitch and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next 22 stitches across the a section okay taking a look at row 40 of the diamond or the b pattern we're going to have 11 stitches alternating the treble single treble single okay over 11 stitches and then we have one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, lucky number 13, single crochets in the center, and then another 11 stitches alternating the treble, single, treble, single. Okay, so let's go ahead and work that row. So for this row 40, we start with a treble crochet, and we're alternating treble and singles across 11 stitches so go ahead and alternate back and forth on these two stitches across the next 11 stitches after those alternating 11 stitches we're going to work 13 single crochets so go ahead and work uh, single crochets in the next 13 stitches after those 13 single crochets we're going to alternate treble crochet and single crochet over the next 11 stitches so go ahead and do that over these next 11 stitches okay, after finishing that B section I wanted to show you what we should have I'm starting to outgrow my softbox space here but just show you that this does work out so go ahead and complete this all the way across this is row number 40 and this will end video number three and I will see you again soon in video number four for the next assignment. God bless. Bye-bye.